Hi guys, it is Monday, hang on, November 17th, and what you see right here is an ornament swap that I was in with a few friends, and I wanted to show you what I made before I sent it off, although I did make one for myself. I thought it looked cuter to see several of them together than one by itself. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I made. And then I'm going to, as soon as we come back, uh, show you how I made them. The video won't go live until everybody's received theirs, so they won't be, you know, it won't spoil what they're getting so that they can be surprised when they get their package. But the ornament that I made for the swap is very similar to the cardboard girls that I did. I just altered the pattern that I created cut her down smaller. I kind of wanted her to be even smaller than this, but the, by the time I got through cutting and sizing her, this is the size she wound up, and I decided to leave her because she's actually very cute this size too, but I do want to make a smaller one. But this is the um, ornament that I made, and she is designed after the idea of the, let me get it real quick, the cardboard challenge that Victor put out that I did and this is what I did from his challenge I just took a piece of cardboard and created with scraps on it well then one of my friends decided they wanted to do a scrappy ornament challenge based on scraps so at least I think that's what we were supposed to do I hope Kathy <laughs> anyway um, I took that idea that I did from the cardboard challenge and I applied it to the other cardboard project I did, which was the cardboard girls, and put them together and this is what came up. So all this is made from scrap cardboard, scrap papers, laces, scrap flowers, and things just on my table. And then the back of this one is painted. Um, and that's the one I'm keeping, but the backs of the other ones I put paper on and um, finished them a little differently. Okay, so that's the Cardboard Girl ornament. And the wings I used Tim Holtz, uh, let's see, Alteration Sizzix Die, the Fanciful Flight. I just took the piece in the in the die a lot of times not all the time but in the, in the die sometimes they give you a sample size I just took this piece and you know what this might be one I cut out myself I don't know but anyway sometimes they give you a sample size but this was in here I don't know whether they sent it or I did it but um, I took this to to use as the wing so I did not design the wing I used his die cut the rest of it I designed and I just traced around cardboard and created the wing from from that. Okay, so that's that's the ornaments. Give you a little bit of a close up of her. I think she's really cute. I didn't give her arms and legs and stuff. I just left her alone at wings because she's just gonna hang on a tree. And so I'm gonna do a little bit smaller one, I think. So that's the main ornament. And then I went a little further and I created an iCAD for everyone. And I use scraps for that too. This is the index card. Um, I embossed it. Embossed, yeah, with, with the tech, well, I use one of those texture plates, put texture. Uh, ran it through the machine and got texture. And painted and colored over it. And it started out with different colors on it, like gold and green. And I, by the time I was done, it didn't look that way at all. So, but I like the way it turned out. And all this paper here is scraps, and this is just a stencil. Um, this is a cardboard or chipboard bird. So there's four of them. They're not exactly the same because they are scraps. It's not like I, you know, created them exactly the same as I went. I just grabbed scraps from my scrap bin, and I put a little art quote on each one. This one says, it's always too early to quit. This one says, every artist was first an amateur, which I love. This one says, if we could point, uh, paint with the hand, if we could paint with the hand what we see with the eye, I love that one too, because that's so true. And art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time, and that's so true. So I loved all those quotes, so I put those on there. So 
so that's going in the package. And then I had a little extra time, so I went ahead and created um, some ATCs. And these are also created from scraps, but these are scrap fabrics. Um, the whole tag, the whole card has fabric on it. And I'll show you how I made those too. I used double sided tape and then I stitched and then I took Rick Rack. I had a scrap of Rick Rack and this is all I have left of it. And I'm, that's what I'm going to use to make the one for you guys. Um, and I put that down here and then I took some flowers that are not scraps. They're just embellishments that I have that I'm trying to use up down the side and a bow that I made. And then these tags are not attached because I can't decide if I like it on there or not. So I'm going to leave it unattached so the person who gets them can do with it what they want. But these were originally red and they said admit one and they had a number because they are original tags. I got these at a vintage, um, like a crap, uh, what do you call them, an antique mall. And they're the actual type of uh, tags or tickets that you use at a fair or something. And I had a whole roll of them so I just pulled four off and I painted on one side and then put my own stamp so you don't see the admit one because I didn't like the red with this although it might have might have been all right anyway so that's what I did with that and I'll show you how I did that too it won't be exact because you know I don't have it in front of me um, exactly what I did but it'll be close so I just wanted to share those with you before I sent them off in a package and when I come back I will create the cardboard girl um, angel ornament I will create an iCAD and I will create an ATC and show you how I did all those. I don't know if it will be one video or three, it depends on how long. If I do it as a chat type video, which I haven't done in a long time, it will be three videos because I will probably you know, say, say too much and make the video too long. And um, I'm behind in my gut art class, I haven't been working on that, um, different reasons, but anyway. so. I just thought I'd share this with you guys real quick and I will come back when I can and show you how to make them and then upload this video for you. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you again in a few seconds. It'll really be probably a few days, maybe even a week or two because they have to receive these first, but I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Hey guys, it is Monday the 24th and I think the swap partners that I did an ornament swap with have received their ornaments, so I'm going to film this real quick. <sighs> the word quick should not be a lot of my vocabulary, but <laughs> that's okay. I use it anyway. Um, I'm going to film this for you to show you how I put her together. So that's going to be the first thing I do, and I think I'm too close for you guys now. But um, you see what's laying here. It's scraps, and it's scraps from all the projects I've been working on which is the main, this is the main one, and these two things here, but mostly her. And so I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I'm not going to go get new scraps unless I need something, but I don't think I will based on what I see here in front of me. Uh, so let's kind of get this out of the way, and we will get started. Um, I'm going to make her as similar to this as I can. I want to alter her and make her smaller for my own personal reasons, and you can do the same, but for this, I'm not going to take the time. I am going to hang her here though so I can look at her. Um, what I did was I created a pattern for the um, paper, let's see, the cardboard dolls that I did, and I really thought they were cute, so I wanted to, to take that pattern and make it smaller and make the ornament. Well, I did that by using the head pattern, but she she was too big, so I just went ahead and sketched a new one and made her smaller. She's still a little too big, but I'm going to go with it. Um, this is my template. I It's not perfect. Look at the shoulders. You can see that the cutting is not perfect. It's like pointed here and rounded here. That's okay. Um, it's really not a big deal. Uh, as long as you're having fun, doesn't really matter. But I traced out the pattern, and the reason she got bigger and bigger is because I would trace around cardboard. And when you trace around cardboard, you're going to get, uh, let's see, my pencil. You're going to get a little bit bigger than what the actual size is. If you trace around paper, you can keep closer to the size that you create. So that's why I need to create a paper um, 
template, which I thought I did, but I don't know if it's it's gone, I guess, um, to keep closer to the size you want. So probably what I'll do is I'll create a smaller paper template to create a smaller ornament and just keep using cardboard because I like tracing around cardboard better. But anyway, I think she'd be really cute small, like maybe this big. I think she'd be really cute. We may just do one before this, this year's over. I don't know. So, um... The other thing I did is the wings. I did not use my own design. I kind of took a little shortcut and I used the wing, this particular wing right here in this die. And it looks like this. Um, and I just traced around it to create the wing. So that is a Tim Holtz ring, uh, wing. It's not mine. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out real quick because I didn't cut them out. I cut them on other pieces and um, didn't create myself a template, so I need to do that now. So, um, I don't know what y'all are up to today, but today is really pretty and sunny and nice. It's really windy though. We've got uh, store uh, weather warnings, like wind warnings, until six tonight, I think. But yesterday was just yucky. It was just wet all day and dreary all day and I don't know just one of those days that nothing was going on and I really just didn't enjoy it but the day before I got errands done and things like that and it was nice and sunny and so I enjoyed that but I like I like getting things done and I like it when it's sunny and today's one of those days it's nice and sunny and I've gotten a little bit done I haven't got a lot done but I did have a I've got my laundry done. I've got my kitchen cleaned up. I haven't done the juicing yet. Um, but I had a little chat with Victor on Skype. Hi, Victor. I enjoyed our little chat. And he showed me some things that he'd made. And so that was fun. And I fed the dogs, took care of them, and now we're going to do this. So. Alright, so the first thing I do is just get a piece of, of uh, scrap cardboard. This came out of a box that had, um, uh, I don't know what was in it, but these were dividers. Oh, we order vitamins and stuff like that from Vitacost. Some some things from Vitacost, not everything, but in, it, it comes in dividers whenever you buy canisters of something, so that's what this is from. So I'm just going to take my template here for the girl, and this is a flat end, so I'm just going to put her down to the edge there. I'm going to trace her around. Now if you want to freehand this, you can. You're more than welcome to. Whatever you decide, however you want to create your pattern is up to you. I'm just giving you a guideline about how I do it. And then I trace out my girl. And then I do my wings. Now the wings, I want them to face that way. So I need to make sure that the side of the cardboard I want showing, which is this side, is I think like this. So that'll work. And I want them facing opposite, uh, the same way. I mean, not the same way, the opposite way. Because if you do it like this, you're going to have one showing this side and one showing this side. So you want to do it like that. I think. We'll see. I hope. Sometimes, you know, when you're doing something, you just do it. And you're not really paying attention. You just know. It's like an instinct to just do it the way that you do it and then when you go to tell somebody you're like I don't even know how I did that how did I do that okay oh and let's see I got another package this is for my embellishment um, scrappy ornament swap and for the birthday so they're in the same package so I can't open them so cat did that to me so now I gotta wait <laughs> and this came I don't know who it's from it doesn't have a return name on it but I watched 
somebody make these and so I'm wondering if it's from her I don't know I know that it says it's from Texas and she does live in Texas so is this from you JPG Jamie is this from you you didn't put your name on there but I'm going to open it. it says happy mail so I don't think it's for the birthday celebration but I'm gonna hold it off anyway and open it for my birthday celebration because that's what I want to do so thank you if it is you if it's not I'll find out when I open it but um, anyway so I traced around those and I'll put these off to the side because I don't need those right now. Somewhere. Boy, have I got a mess to clean up. I have a whole area to clean up because I'm going to be putting up lights this weekend, I hope. And up here in my room, um, there's two windows. One over there and one over there. And then there's one back there. But the two over here, they get uh, snowflakes put in them. And then the one in the office facing the road over there gets one. And then downstairs in the garage gets they get uh, snowflakes so I have to have everything cleaned up and nice and neat so that when we put them in they're easy to get to the windows are easy to get to which they are but there's there's stuff I need to move off the desk over there and um, we plug in everything down there so I need to make sure that this stuff's not in the way it's just you know precautionary stuff okay this is left over we can use it for something else I'll put that off to the side Let's go ahead and just cut the ornament out. These scissors are starting to get squeaky and yucky up because I use them for everything and you're not they're not the kind that um, glue and stuff peels off easily. But they're old. They're like cheapy scissors. I don't care. They're like the four or five dollar scissors you buy. They're not like the regular Fiskars. My Fiskars, you don't touch for this kind of stuff. I have scissors that I use for for scrapbooking or crafting, crafting, art making and stuff like that. And then I have scissors for fabric. The scissors I use for paper don't touch fabric. And the scissors I use for fabric don't touch paper. And nobody better touch my scissors, period, <laughs> with that permission. Because... I don't want somebody making a mistake and putting my scissors on something they shouldn't go on. I'm very picky about my scissors. My mother taught me that and it just got ingrained into me because she was very picky about her scissors too. These I don't care. You can come in here and touch these all you want to. I don't care. And these pretty much anything too. But the others you got to find out from me what, what they're for. <clears throat> these out. I was going to have these prepared ahead of time, but then I thought, well, I just wanted to show you what I did and show you that it's not a, um, scientific, perfect kind of thing. You just cut, you know, pretty quick. No big deal. You can be more precise and more picky and more everything, but considering this was a scrappy ornament swap, I kind of like the idea that it would look scrappy. Okay. And there we go. Now, you can trim up if you want to, or fix if you want to, whatever you want to do. I kind of think I just leave, should leave it alone. Yeah, well. All right, so these are going to go like that. Okay, so the wings, I'm going to do a different paper and I'm going to use this and it won't be straight on here but I don't I don't care it's not going to bother me any and it's going to go on this side and on these that I did on mine I painted the back because I knew I was going to be keeping it on the others I did a nicer finish and coated the back with paper um this one I'm doing now I don't know what I'm going to do I haven't got that far yet I don't I haven't decided 
we'll decide when we get there. Okay, so. What I want to do is I like to take a punch and I want whatever I do to um, show through the other layers. So whether it's paint or if it's other paper, I want you to be able to see that underneath. So I just punched all over the paper in different ways. And I don't remember now, because it's been a while, if I punched before I cut out the, the shape or after. I think it's before. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, either way. Because, say, this one here is has been punched before, and when I put this on here, like this, I glue it on, then I just trim it, and it'll show part of the flower here, part of the flower here, and then the whole flower here. And either way is okay. Oh, and I gotta yell, because I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm a little tired. I didn't feel very good when I went to bed last night, but I feel fine today. I don't know what the deal was. Okay, that one's ready. And I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready so I have them ready to go when I'm put these on, put those on. Um, these, this is where I just brought in some scraps, but I specifically took black because I wanted some black on her. And I took my butterfly punch that I've got here. I think this is a Martha Stewart. It's a small one. This is, oh, I don't know. I don't know who this is by. You'll recognize it when you see it in the packaging though. Probably Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Anyway, I wanted to put the black on here, so I just punched two butterflies. One on top of the other. That didn't work out the way it's supposed to, so we got to do another one. Let me pick up the butterfly off the floor. Hold on. I love little black butterflies. So. Okay. And then we gotta go. Okay, that works out. So what you've got is just a little, doesn't matter what size, squared off piece of um, black paper that has two butterflies punched, one on top of the other. They're not even perfectly lined up. Just a little space here so that they stay connected. And that's where she, it's going to go like right in here. And I like that. For some reason, I did it on the very first ornament that I did. And I like it, so I left it that way. So that's ready. Oh boy, guys, sorry. I'm going to be yawning into this whole video. And I wanted some text paper. So we need that. And this book that I've been using the text paper from is called Mr. Bridge. I've never read the book. I have no idea what it's about. But I do know that I have found words and stuff in here that are not necessarily words I would put on art and send to people. So if you get anything from me that has these book pages on it and there's words on it, it's not because I did that on purpose. I didn't catch it or didn't notice. Like this one here has the word embarrassed, which doesn't bother me because I'm keeping it. But like on this one here, are there any words I would not want to send out? Um... One had the word hate on it, and I just didn't want to do that because it, there's no point in, it's a negative, you know, a negative type thing, and I didn't want to be negative. Um, this I wouldn't use this slide anyway on this particular project because it's not showing a lot of wording. But over here, I don't see anything major. 
at this point. So well, I am going to get rid of the white space, most of it, just so that when I do use <clears throat> whatever I'm going to use, there's no white included. I use it in something else. And I take this punch again, this flower punch. And you can take any punch you want, it doesn't have to be the flower. And um, go ahead and punch these. And you're getting flowers in the meantime that you can decorate and send out. So there's that. And let's see. Oh, this one's stuck. Why they do that sometimes, I just don't know. Well, I can use part of it, but oh well. I don't know what the deal was with that. Okay, so there's punches in that, and then there's these extra little pieces here, and I think that's probably all I'll need. And then uh, some other colors just brought in, like these here. Okay, that's for the girl, so we'll do that. And I might incorporate a little bit of another color on the wings. Um, I really like this blue, so maybe we'll use that. And this is something I cut out and I never used. I could use that. I don't think I want to, though. I want more blue, but I don't have any more blue up here, and I'm not going to go digging in my bag for more blue. So. I think I'll split the difference and we'll use some blue and we'll use some tissue paper and let's see anything else okay, this maybe Told you I wasn't prepared. I just went ahead and started. Okay. That's good to start. And then what did I do? Um, I started gluing on the papers, I believe. In just haphazard places. And I really wanted to make sure that wherever I put my butterflies, which is about right here at the neckline, I really wanted to make sure that I put a word of some sort there. And it doesn't have to be a specific word or anything, it just has to be a word that you would be okay with somebody reading, depending on what kind of book you're using. So, let's see if there's anything over here real quick. Me make is in that. I like that. Me make. Me make ornament. I think we'll just go with me make. But when I'm putting my papers in, I just kind of try to incorporate it right in the center of one of the um, butterflies. Preferably the lower butterfly because the higher one tends to get covered up with the flower that I put around her neck. Um, if it's not going to get covered up, it doesn't matter where you put it. So, let's start. And I think I Mod Podged, or I think I, I think I Mod Podged the first one I did. 
And then these I just glued down with a glue stick and then Mod Podged over it after I was done. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to go this route though. Let's lay out a few papers here and get some. I need something else on her. Um, this will work. And something else. We've got red. We've got the black. I don't really want that green. I could go with this green. Oh, here. No, it's too small. Maybe this one. So if you dig around on your desk, you find all kinds of things that you're going to get rid of. And on this particular one, I left a lot of the cardboard cover showing, like in here. This is cardboard, and here is cardboard, and over here. Um, this is the red paper that I'm going to use, and then, of course, you've got your word. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's all up to what you're in the mood for that time. That, at that time, you make it. And so I'm just going to... Just gonna glue. I really think I used Mod Podge, but and you can go over the edges because you're gonna trim it up and make it um, even anyway with the edges. If you have a straight edge, that's fine. Go ahead and just lay it down straight, but it doesn't matter if you go over. I may be getting out the Mod Podge, it'll be faster. worked on a few of my gut art um, lessons and I've decided that I probably won't film any more of those. I probably will just do them and then just do a little flip through and show you. Um, because then I can concentrate on when I do the class, just doing the class. And when I do this, I can talk to you guys. And I really like to talk to you guys, so I like to talk as I go. And it takes me longer to do a talking video, so do it this way. All right. This is where you just put it where you feel like it. And this came about because of the challenge I did that Victor put out for cardboard embellishments and when I did my cardboard embellishment I just took it a step further and started doing um, the cardboard angels and I showed you the the challenge ornament that I made for him. I've showed it before. I'll show it one more time. This is what I did for his challenge and these sort of came th the idea of these came from this. I think 
it back up. Okay. Okay. And let's find the word. And I did this backwards. I'm supposed to have painted her head first. I knew I did something wrong. Usually I do her face first. I paint all that and then I come down into the body, but since I didn't, we're just going to do it backwards. But I would suggest painting her, her head first. But it doesn't have to be done that way. It can be done this way. a little bit too. Okay, let that dry for a second and I'm going to go ahead and do the wing. And kind of keep in mind when you're making this that your wings are going to get covered down to about right here. So whatever you put there, you won't see anyway. Okay, 
words are facing that way, so the words on this one should probably face that way too, which that's okay. get sticky. Actually, I don't want that there. I want this up here. Barney is on. Andy Griffith is on. <laughs> it'll play for about an hour and a half, then it'll say, do you want to continue? And I'm not there to continue. It'll go off. But um, I like to leave that on. It's relaxing, easy listening. And if it's either, if it's either, um, it's either that or it's music. And I didn't feel like putting on music today for some reason. So, all right. I need to dry off. Right off the table, I need to dry the ornament pieces, and I will come back in a second and tell you what I'm going to do next. Now, because we made a mistake, and I say we, because I always blame you guys when I do something wrong, too. It's got to be a group effort. <laughs> um, because I didn't do this painting first, that's what the next step's going to be, to paint her face. But, um, you know, it's okay that, that I did that. It's just not what I would have preferred. So, you live and you learn. It's hard to redo, re, uh, redo something the same exact way you do it the first time. But we're going to get close. So, I'll be back in a second. I don't want you to have to listen to the blow drying.